Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple code. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use drawer component in material UI. For that, I have created a new component like this, a drawer and I imported this here also as a top and for working of drawer for passing a link under the drawer i have these routes also for that i am using routes and route and this is for react router i have explained a full series on react router if you have any problem you can prefer that also if you already know routers then it is better to understand now in index.js here also i used browser router because this browser router should be the root component here in this application for using react router so now we have these link and now i am going to create a drawer for creating a drawer here i can use box component of material ui and here i say box under this box i need to draw a drawer here i say a drawer from material ui tab and here I need to create a drawer. In this drawer, I have aria label. I can give aria label and I say that is MUI drawer. Then for opening this drawer from left, right, top, bottom, I have anchor element here. So I provide here anchor to the left like that. Then I have uh, open property and here I need to pass the value of this and we can say is open and I have one more property is called on close here I need to pass the function that will handle this close operation here I need a state variable and here I set this state variable value to set is open to false like that save this you see that we have a drawer here and i need a state variable for that so i say const and i create is open and set is open and i say it's a use state like that and by default value is false now i need one button also on which i will just click and this will open for that uh, i take here image icon so i say icon button under this icon button, I need one icon. So I go to this website, MUI. Here I type menu icon. And from this, I take this menu icon, copy, and just simply I paste here. And here inside this, I use this menu icon. Menu icon like that. And uh, I can use this icon size also. So I say size is large and I can say variant, variant equal to content and uh, this is the property which is required. Now uh, on click we require, so on click and I say on click we want to handle click event. So I create one function also. I say handle click, handle click equal to arrow function and here in arrow function I say set is open and here I say true. So I am passing it true to open it. So this is property will be open and we will have this. So I save this here. Now if I run it and you will see that we have this button, icon button. I click on this. So we have to open a drawer, but this drawer is in a full size. So we have to provide a size also. So what I do, I say under this drawer here, I take one stack. I say stack from material UI. Here I say uh, some property to the stack. The property is width. So width is uh, 200 
pixel and I say spacing to 2 here and uh, what I say like that then I pass here typography so I say MUI typography here I provide H4 or I say H5 here uh, I provide the color to secondary and here I pass drawer items like that save this and you will see that if I try to open right now so we have this drawer right now like that now what I do I say alignment of this should be center save this and you see that we have this alignment to the center now I can provide more property to this so here I provide link so I say link and here in link I have a href and uh, I pro provide right now hash and uh, I say underline underline equal to hover or right now just I pass the link and I say that is home and now I take three copy of this and second one I say uh, rating and third one I say accordion so these component I will use now I need this link is not defined so I need to define this link uh, from material UI so I say import link from MUI material UI save this we have from material UI like this so link is working now three links are there so if you see we have this and I click on this button then we have these item also so one by one we design this item so I say uh, this stack should have a margin margin of 2 and margin of 2 from the x side save this and you see that we have margin also now uh, I need to remove these over so what I say I select this all three and I say underline and here I pass hover means on only hover we want to make it underline so you see that when I go to this on this link then it become to as a link otherwise it just like a common now I want it working it should work so as you remember that in the beginning I have shown you that I have created some routes here because of the react router so from the react router concept I pass here first of all the home so I say home here then I pass rating so I say rating here then I pass accordion so I say accordion like that these three links are available here you see I have already created and this is a part of react router so how we can use react router again you can perform my series you can watch a special series on react router now these links are working so I click on this and you see I click on home so we have a home here you see it's coming home here then I click again I say rating so we have a rating component here then I click on accordion so we have accordion here so this button is on the top and we are just changing the different different component by clicking on these links those are available here you see it is working perfectly now we have some variant also that this time when I click on this it is coming from the left side so you can decide that how it will come so suppose it coming from uh, left side I say it should come from right side so save this I click on this button so see this is coming from the right side also so it depend on us whether we want to open it from the left or right side now we can also decide from top and bottom so I say bottom so it can be open from bottom also so you see I click on this 
and it coming from the bottom side also. Similarly, it can be come from top also it can come from the center. It depend on you whatever you want. So I say left from the for this application here, but you can decide the anchor property from left, right, top, center. Now uh, we have one more thing also. Uh, suppose you want to open this particular uh, uh, drawer permanently. So we can do like that also. So uh, I say variant and I say this variant is permanent. Save this and you see that it's automatically open. Now it is not depend on this button. So I click here, then we have changed to this. I click on then we change to rating. I click on then we change to this. And we have to manage the this particular uh, component also that is display behind this drawer. That for that we have to design a layout that is different part is not part of this video. So we may design layout also and in this portion this component will open automatically when you click on this. So like that way you can use this drawer also for permanent but right now I am just removing this because I need to open on the click of button. So similarly I just click and it coming and it is working you see. So like that way you can use a drawer in material UI and I think I explain in very simple way how you can use drawer. If you really understand please do subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.